Hello and welcome to a collection update. We've got a small little update here of, from the uh, Vinegar Syndrome April, sort of April Fool's Day, Easter sale, and then two movies that I picked up through work. Uh, one of them is probably the biggest movie of last year, and uh, we'll just get right to it here. We've got Spider-Man No Way Home, the Blu-ray copy with the Blu-ray DVD digital. This is the uh, one that sort of promises uh, 80 minutes of bonus content that people were very, very excited to get here. And it's pretty disappointing, to say the least. Uh, uh, the, the, the picture quality and everything is great. Uh, it's awesome that it comes with the slip cover here and you can see if you haven't seen spider-man no way home um i'm not sure what rock you're living under but uh there's a couple spider-men in it sorry to spoil it but uh there's the front and the back it's the same image it just comes with a nice slip cover and then we've got the uh, blu-ray and the dvd copy there the uh the special features, obviously, it says here on the back, there's over 80 minutes of bonus content with bloopers, a gag reel, uh, the Spider-Man Unite uh, featurette, and then uh, some other things, Easter eggs, deleted scenes. And on face value, if this wasn't such a colossal anticipated film, those bonus features would be amazing for a first-time release like this, usually when you have a movie coming out and it's brand new, there's not that many special features. Either they don't have time to record the featurettes or to record commentaries or whatever. This one has a pretty good pile of extras, but when you consider the movie that it is uh, released, it's kind of disappointing. But as for Spider-Man No Way Home, the film itself is great. I reviewed it back when it came out in theaters. If you haven't seen this one or you do want to get the, the, the movie, the picture quality and the sound quality are great. Um, you can get the 4K version as well. I got the Blu-ray, but the special features might leave something to be desired when you're uh, checking it out. So temper those expectations. If they're sky high, you might not like it or you might be disappointed. But if you're just looking for some cool featurettes and stuff like that, then this one is a good release to pick up. Second, we have the 4K, which I haven't opened, of Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000 on Blu-ray. Um, this one is a steel book, the steel book edition, so it's awesome. And uh, let's just take it, take it open right here, get it open, so we can get you guys to uh, check out the contents here. Um, I have been doing the practice of not opening my movies uh, right when I buy them because then it lets me know, hey, I haven't watched this or I haven't checked it out yet. Um, so anything on the special features side or whatever that I, uh, I, I, I don't honestly know um, how good they are or anything because uh, I haven't watched this, but I did pick it up because I'm a big fan of the original Heavy Metal, and it does have some of that little nice snot glue that we have there. Let's take the, uh, is that a J card, I guess? I don't know. We'll take that off uh, and show you the the box. The steel book. I don't normally collect steel books, but this one was pretty awesome to pick up. It has some nice art, and it's nice and reflective there. Um, it's not embossed or anything. And then we've got uh, the digital codes, which I'll go ahead and hide. And then we have uh, the discs we have heavy metal 2000 on a blu-ray um and then we have heavy metal on 4k uh and blu-ray as well so very awesome looking steel book if you're a steel book collector i'm sure you'll love this one i pick and choose my steel books uh based on what i want here but then we've got the uh special features for each disc here on the back and it comes with uh on the 4k Exclusive newly created Dolby Atmos soundtrack, so the sound's going to sound amazing on 4K. Heavy metal will look back in HD, so it's not in 4K. An all-new retrospective featuring reflections from producer Ivan Reitman and famous fans Kevin Smith, Norman Reedus, and more. Special features on the Blu-ray disc, the original feature-length rough cut with optional commentary by Carl Masek. Imagining heavy metal documentary, deleted scene, and an alternate framing story with commentary, and then for heavy metal 2000, you have the Julie, Julie Strain Super Goddess voice talent animation tests and animatic, animatic comparisons. So this one also for the uh, 4K is region free because 4K is a region free. But this one, um, it's a nice pile of extras uh, to see this movie in 4K. Can't wait to watch uh, the original Heavy Metal in 4K and check it out. But pick this one up as well. And then finally, we've got from the... Uh, Vinegar Syndrome, April sort of release or sale that they had. Um, we had three movies, uh, two of which that I have seen, one of which that I had not seen. I have not seen, but uh, I'll tell, talk to you about that one later. Uh, first off, we've got the 4K of Flesh Eater, uh, Revenge of the Living Dead, with the slipcover. 
Obviously, Vinegar Syndrome knows what they're doing with their slip covers. These ones, uh, I like a lot more than the hard boxes that they have on some of theirs because this is a lot easier to slip in and out. I actually damaged uh, one of the uh, plastic coverings on one of my other Vinegar Syndrome releases because it's so tight to get the box back on. So if you want to watch the movie, you're going to pay for it. But uh, we've got Flesh Eater here from Bill Hinsman, the, of course, the original zombie from Night of the Living Dead. Uh, he made this movie instead of appearing in the Night of the Living Dead remake by uh, Tom Savini. This one is pretty good. It's a pretty lo-fi sort of zombie story, zombie movie here uh, with some good gore effects. And of course, because it's a Vinegar Syndrome release, you have a pile of extras. It's nice to get some of their releases in 4K as well, um, just because also they're region free and so anyone can buy them. But because the picture quality from Vinegar Syndrome with all their restorations and everything are so beautiful... Uh, I haven't opened this one up yet, but the uh, you've got a new commentary track, um, an interview with, pro with producers, uh, all roads lead back to Flesh Eater, another interview with the cinematographer, uh, remembering Bill and Bonnie Hinsman, um, an interview with the composer, an interview with the actress he Heidi Hinsman, um, an interview with the special makeup effects artist, an interview with the actors, an interview with the unit manager, a lot of interviews on this one, but... Um, you've got the region free 4K, all of that, and then reversible cover art that'll probably be uh, this art, maybe. Uh, let's actually just crack it open and see, because that's interesting. Okay, so we got the uh, the disc open, we got the plastic off, and we'll see what it looks like on the inside with both discs. So you do get a Blu-ray and a 4K here, so if you don't even want the 4K version and you just want the Blu-ray version of Flesh Eater, you can pick it up here and then have a 4K for whenever you get a 4K television. But as for the... Re reverse art oh uh, it's the uh black and white with the blood coming out of his mouth there so either one of these are pretty damn good i think i'm going to go with uh, this one on the inside just because that's what i normally do with any reversible art to get uh the alternate art on the cover that they commission and then get the other art on the uh inside so that is a beautiful uh 4k version of flesh eater uh, excited to rewatch this one, especially in 4K, and check out all the extras from Vinegar Syndrome. So, we'll get all that set back up. Second to last, we have another 4K from Vinegar Syndrome. We've got Death Wish 2, one of my favorite film series ever. Death Wish uh, starts off as like an actual movie, an actual, you know, commentary on crime and violence in New York City in the 70s. And then as the story goes, as the, the series goes along, it just turns into. Charles Bronson kicking ass for an hour and a half. And I love these movies. They are f utterly fantastic. They are disgusting and filthy. And it's just Charles Bronson kicking ass. This one comes from MGM and Vinegar Syndrome, obviously. And then we've got the back there. Bronson's loose again. This one's a 4K, so it comes in the nice 4K disc box which with that black, which are awesome to look at on a shelf. There's the uh, reversible cover art. There's the back of it. And then as for the extras here, we've got the uncut version of Death Wish 2 from its original 35mm camera negative. We've got a 1080p Blu-ray disc with the uncut and alternate TV version restored from 2K from the 35mm. Um, special features, we've got an interview with screenwriter, an interview with actor Robert F. Lyons, an interview with actress Robin Sherwood, an interview with Todd Roberts, the son of the executive producer, audio commentary with author and historian Paul Talbot, theatrical trailer, and subtitles. So... Uh, a lot of interviews with this one, and we'll check out the, the discs. Uh, they did give us both arts on the discs, which is pretty cool there. And uh, I haven't watched this one in 4K, but I've seen it a million times in HD, and so I'm sure that the 4K will look beautiful and sound beautiful with that awesome Jimmy Page soundtrack on Death Wish 2. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this. Hopefully, Vinegar Syndrome can get the rights to 1, 3, 4, and 5 in the series, and we can get a nice Death Wish box set from them, which would be really cool. I'd we buy this movie just for our box set um but death wish 2 absolutely awesome to get if they can't get the first one because the first one everybody considers it you know an actual um high point in cinema maybe we can get death wish 3 4 and 5 from vinegar syndrome because this is awesome the other releases that i have of uh 3 4 and 5 or 2 3 4 5 are all the bare bones ones but uh last but not least we have a blu-ray from vinegar syndrome and we have the alien private eye so take a look at that cover Take a look at the back art. Take a look at the title of the movie, Alien Private Eye. And you tell me that you don't want to watch a movie called Alien Private Eye. 
I'll wait while I get this open. So we finally got the plastic wrap off, thanks to Vinegar Syndrome for adding really awesome plastic wrap to their movies here. But we've got the back of Alien Private Eye with a pile of extras there. So we've got a newly scanned and restored in 4K to its, from its 35mm original camera negative, a new commentary track with writer, director, producer Vic Rubenfeld, Master of Suspense, an interview with Vic Rubenfeld, uh, an interview with cinematographer, uh, and an interview with lead actor David Nico Hill, with reversible sleeve artwork, the other side, of course, being that new art that they made. But we've got the disc and everything else on the inside. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome with their cool plastic clear ca cases here. Um, this one I had never seen, I had never heard of, but it was one of their April movies uh, that they released. And so with a title like Alien Private Eye, you can't go wrong with something like that, especially from Vinegar Syndrome. But that's it for this uh, Blu-ray update uh, 4k update uh, the 4k collection uh, is still uh, much smaller than the blu-ray collection but it's beefing up a little bit with some of these releases they'll go right on the shelf with all of the other vinegar syndrome titles i have uh, up here so hopefully it'll look cool but thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and do all that youtube stuff because it really really helps me out uh, to find out what kind of videos you guys want to watch and what kind of content you guys want to see but for more heavy metal more horror movies, more Blu-rays, collectibles, all of that stuff. Check back to my channel, and I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.